back here at home from Paris and receiving all of the praise. And he deserves it. Tonight, two-time Olympic medalist swimmer Carson Foster returning to his old stomping grounds or swimming grounds in Mason to meet with fans who cheered him. WLWT News 5 anchor Chris Jacobs was there today speaking with Carson one-on-one -on -one about his return home. Hi, Chris. Yeah, hey guys. Well, Carson saying the praise going from good luck to good job. The now two time Olympic medalist was back in Mason getting honored by the same program that trained him. Without further ado, we're going to bring out Carson Foster. A big welcome home and congratulations for Carson Foster. This is the first time I've gotten to do something with Mason, and, and I'm excited to be back. The same place where Foster trained for greatness, now applauding his Olympic accomplishments. <laughs> and putting him into the Manta Rays Wall of History. This is one of the constants of my swim career that I get to come home and, and work with Ken. So everything is the same in terms of, you know, how it feels coming here. And I hope it, I hope it always stays like that. With his silver and bronze Olympic medals around his neck, Foster, along with his trial teammates, met with future swimmers, now serving as their inspiration. He received praise and applause, but also looked back on his time in Paris, describing the moments he first got in the pool. Yes, I was super nervous, but when I'm walking out and they announce my name and I'm behind the block, even when it's so loud in there, like that was by far when I was the most calm and that where I was like, all right, I'm here. I know how to do this. I've done this race a hundred times. And that calm nature, helping land him his pair of medals, an emotion he says he's still experiencing. It was just a matter of like, almost relief, just like I did it, like I know I'm capable of this and I finally did it. But for Foster, the Olympics aren't about the medals, the fame or the glory. It's about something simpler, yet more valuable. It's the memories that, that go with you forever. The medals are going to be cool because I'll be able to show my kids one day, but the, the absolutely the medals are the, the memories and, you know, seeing my parents and Meredith after the race is what, what really gets remembered. Well, the pressure isn't off for Foster just yet. He's got a big moment in his personal life later this week. Let's just say he's trading in the Speedo for a tuxedo as he's getting married on Friday. I asked how he's feeling about that. He says he has no more nervous energy to give. Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5. I guarantee you that he could pull off the tuxedo and the Speedo better than I could. <laughs> and, and, and nor would I ever try okay. one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway, congrats to him. Kevin just walked away. I tried to make him I tried to make him blush. Um, but in all honesty, his mom was always so nervous at the meets and at the Olympics. So she yeah. would walk around and I'll watch. I hope she will be there, though, for the wedding. What a two weeks. I mean, the Olympics and now your wedding. Congratulations. Awesome.